Smash the options button to begin, because we're here on WRC 10, heading into the daily races, uh, back for some more tarmac action. Uh, so, if you caught the last uh, video in Spain, uh, gonna be using a lot of the same um, concepts as we did last time racing on tarmac. Uh, except here, there are a lot of little tight hairpin sections where we are gonna want to intentionally slide the car out, use the handbrake to get that rotation, such as here. Uh, and when we come off the handbrake, uh, we're gonna get very gently back onto the throttle and start putting power into those wheels, uh, which is gonna both move us forward and also. Uh, kind of help us with the end of that rotation as the uh, rear wheels unlock themselves and start to pick up more traction. Uh, if you get back into the gas, you can kind of keep that drift going for a little bit to get a nice soft uh, transition from sliding uh, back into getting grip. Um, there, as we just saw smashing ourselves because we thought the car was a little bit narrower than it was. Uh, lots of these donut sections on this course here too. Um, so again, we're going to be using that handbrake to kind of help ourselves uh, keep a consistent radius across those little donut points. Um, I also kind of think about those donut points as, as, at least when I'm entering into them, as a decreasing radius turn, like a 3 going into a 1, or like a 3 going into a, like a square. Uh, and then, uh, as we kind of make our way through this donut, on, on the latter half, on the back half here, treating it as a turn that opens, so really getting on the power uh, as early as we can. Um, and again, because we're on that power, it will kind of drift us uh, within that donut still, um, while starting to accelerate us and hopefully move us in the right direction, uh, which would be the exit of the donut. Um, so, kind of just talking over generally, this is the first run out of three. Uh, and you can see here again, as we enter these hairpin sections, we want to think about what our pivot point is. So there, our pivot point was the front left tire. Here, it's going to be the front right tire. So we want to think about where that pivot point is going to be, because it's moving constantly, right? That, that front tire is still moving forward in space. Um, so, kind of trying to, to plan where that pivot point is going to be, uh, even here using a little bit of a handbrake and slowly getting ourselves back on the throttle. Uh, maybe not slowly, yeah, kind of slowly, kind of gently. Um, gently so we don't spin ourselves out, but just enough power to kind of continue that drift. Uh, you see that there we kind of messed up that momentum, had to uh, reinitiate ourselves with the handbrake. Uh, here, you know, just once you get offline, these, these places are so narrow, uh, it's hard to get back on the line nice and smoothly. Um, going into this little two into a hairpin, uh, really focus on the hairpin part and don't let that left two shift your momentum in the wrong way because uh, you want to really get your momentum going back towards the right so you can attack that hairpin and uh, use all the available width on the exit. Uh, here again, uh, in these kind of sweeper sections, um, so we'll see it again uh, as we start the next round. Uh, that first little right-hander that we do, um, which we'll see when the next clip starts here in a second. Uh, using left foot braking here, so as we come up here, getting on the left foot brake, coming off the gas a little bit, going back on the gas, and then coming off of the brakes uh, to really keep our momentum going nicely where it should be going, and again, thinking about where our pivot point is going to be smoothly back on, on the gas after we get off the handbrake, uh, getting a late apex there when we can. You're getting just a touch, just a little bit of uh, handbrake there, and a lot of handbrake here to give us a big change in direction. And also here, like left foot braking, then just a touch of handbrake at the end, and getting back onto the throttle smoothly. Here, trying not to get bashed around too much. Uh, and a little bit of handbrake there on the entry into here. And again, just trying to keep a consistent radius around that donut. It's a little bit hard in this camera angle, just because you don't really have that peripheral vision. Uh, you really need to be looking out like your driver's side uh, window to be uh, nailing these donuts. So here in this view, it's kind of like using, you know, your third eye to kind of judge where that hay bale would be. Um, so just kind of lacking some peripheral vision in this camera, vi uh, in this camera mode, uh, but still managing to get through it pretty nicely. 
And again, on the exit of that, just kind of trying to treat it like almost a uh, increasing radius turn where we just get the throttle early, let the radius open up as we start increasing speed and getting ourselves out of the donut. And here's one of those sweepers again, right? So coming off the uh, the throttle mid corner, just to get some more weight on those front wheels, get a better rotation, and back on the throttle before we get off the brakes. And again, they're thinking about our pivot point, uh, a, a brief thing of handbrake, and uh, smoothly back on the gas to get our momentum back up and going. There, a very short blip of that handbrake, and here a much longer blip of the, uh, blip of the handbrake. Uh, actually here, just because the handbrake is a button on my steering wheel, th th that was actually a really tough uh, turn there to specifically do because it's very narrow coming in and you have to go left and right. Um, so you're, you're watching me do my best to find the handbrake button on my steering wheel as you know, I'm all kinds of crisscross uh, trying to hit these very narrow donuts. And then here, try and just nail these apexes, uh, try and get nice late apexes. So we can get good exit speed on the onto these straights. And then here, right, just be careful turning left before you go right. Don't get your momentum going too far on that left turn, or else you won't be able to, to switch it back for that right hairpin. And you can kind of use these arrows to help uh, keep yourself a consistent radius ac across those little donuts, uh, because you're lacking some peripheral vision in, in this camera mode. So, you know, using every visual cue you can uh, to help you through. Uh, and we're finally entering uh, into the third and final Three, run. So two, hopefully by now you have a pretty good idea of what we're going for. Again, into this first right-hander, uh, just your standard left foot braking, coming off the gas mid-corner for some extra rotation. Uh, we doinked it a little bit, but didn't lose too much time. When the wall on the right there starts, that's going to be our breaking point for this turn, down into second. And now we're thinking about our pivot point, slowly back onto the gas. Here, taking, taking a late apex uh, as best we can into the straight. Braking, braking, just a dash of, of uh, handbrake there to get a rotation. And then here, bigger brakes, much bigger handbrake to get ourselves rotated fully across, coming off uh, the handbrake onto the gas hard. Here, just a tiny amount of, of handbrake and smoothly back onto the gas. Uh, left foot braking here, staying on the gas, trying to keep it straight. A little bit of braking before we get off of that little jump. And then now here, trying to keep a little tidy donut, accelerating, accelerating on the exit as best we can. So you can see trying our best to keep a nice tidy radius and accelerating out of out of it. Here trying our best to just keep it tidy through those narrow sections. Again another opportunity for late apex into this long straight. Try and get good exit speed. And then here again that left turn trying to not get out of balance so we can hit that right hairpin very nicely. Back on the throttle. And here kind of like a decreasing radius left turn. We're trying to get around it, and now we're, it's like opening up, and we can really mash the throttle there at the end uh, to start getting our exit speed out of there. Here again, a little bit of left foot braking, letting off the gas mid-corner for rotation. And then here, kind of a hairpin, it's pretty big. I did use a little bit of handbrake, you can kind of see here. And away we go and then back into this first turn, right, just a little bit better that time. Mid-lift rotation, wall on the right, that's our breaking point. Going into here. Again, thinking about our pivot point, using that handbrake smoothly back onto the gas, late apex here. And you can kind of see from the outside, really pivoting around that driver's front tire. And again here, Way less handbrake, but we are using handbrake to help ourselves there, and a lot of handbrake to help ourselves around there. Uh, in addition to coming heavy on the throttle to get off the handbrake to really get the car whipped across. Here gently on, on the throttle to uh, kind of, you know, smoothly get back uh, on, on the grip from sliding. And again into this donut, try and keep it smooth and tidy. Power, 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 power on the out. Power on the exit. Had to, had to use handbrake there to kind of readjust myself 
you know, whenever you feel yourself losing that line you have around the donut, a little bit of handbrake gets yourself back in there. Late apex again. And here, I had to get up and go do something for like a full minute. So uh, when I got back, I'm like, please tell me to lose my mojo. And it looks like we still got our mojo. So again, taking this one as tight as we can, using all the available space on the exit the best we can. Staying flat through this, just waiting for that rotation to come. Again, around this donut, kind of like a decreasing radius turn, and now we have an increasing radius to the exit. So you can see here, looking at the driver's side window, you know, that's really the peripheral vision that we need to kind of go around those donuts. I'm just trying to keep it in the same spot in that driver's window. And, you know, power, powering out. Uh, again, this one, a little bit of lift uh, mid corner for some extra rotation and powering through to the end. So, that was the third and final run. Uh, gives us a pretty good time here. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed some more tarmac action. Whoa, 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 hold on. Tom from the future here. Uh, so, I recorded this voiceover. Uh, pretty quickly after setting down these laps, just so I could have the strategy still fresh in my head. Uh, however, after you know putting together this video and watching back the clips, uh, I went back and set an even faster time. And instead of appending that time to the end of this video, I'm going to use this as an opportunity uh, to roll out a new kind of video, a new kind of lesson, let's say, uh, where I take the uh, the second fastest time, do an analysis on it, and compare it to my time and you can kind of see a juxtaposition of what was faster, what was slower, what worked, what didn't. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.